Hello, my name is David, and I work at the Eon Jiugaoka School. I was born in Singapore, and after that, I spent about um, 10 years studying in uh, Melbourne, Australia. And then, right after, I decided to come to Japan uh, to start a brand new life. My city, uh, Jiugaoka, uh, has plenty of interesting things to do. Uh, but one fact I like about uh, Jiugaoka is that in high school, I read a book uh, called Toto-chan. And the author is a Japanese author, and her name is called uh, Tetsuko Kuroyaragi. And the main character uh, of the story uh, lived in Jiugaoka. And so when I came here, I learned about the fact that all these people who lived here knew about this book that I loved during high school. So when I came here, I was so excited to talk about what I had learned during high school and that it could be a conversation starter with many Japanese people here. It's very easy to get around uh, Jiugaoka. Um, everything is within walking distance or the train station is in a very central location and everything is so close by you have plenty of amenities that is within walking distance so yeah I would say a very convenient place to be in. When I first came to Japan I thought meeting people would be difficult finding new friends finding people to hang out with uh, but through working with Eon I met uh, really great people for example, Japanese teachers and Japanese staff, and we would hang out together, for example, going out to dinner. And through those interactions, uh, I got to meet many uh, new friends because these uh, Japanese teachers and staff introduced uh, people to me. And then after going out a couple more times, we became really good friends. Uh, all of us together, we would continue going out for dinners. And yeah, that's how I made friends uh, right at the very beginning. At my school, I have many responsibilities, one of which is conducting teachers' meetings. So at these teachers' meetings, uh, which are held once a week, uh, we sit down, just the teachers, and we talk about some of the challenges that we face during the week, uh, whether it's, it's with students or with uh, other parents you know, of the children that we teach. Uh, we go through these challenges together, and we try to problem solve. And through these uh, sessions, you know, uh, we get to really learn what uh, the strengths and weaknesses are of each other. And that way we can help each other grow and, you know, uh, get a, a good working life here at Eon. So with students, we do many activities uh, with them. Uh, one of the highlights that we have at schools are, are the school parties sometimes to welcome new teachers or when we have speech contests uh, where the students give uh, speeches and then after the speech contests we would have parties where we would uh, simply chat about uh, anything anything outside of classrooms uh, outside of learning English but we would do so in English and that way they the students get to uh, converse with us in a second language and they can feel like what they have learned in class really benefits them uh, by talking to the foreign teachers. A few that I've learned two things from working in Eon so far. Uh, firstly is that uh, I've learned that you need to adapt to different kinds of situations and different kinds of people uh, interacting with people who are not only of a different culture uh, but they speak a different language, so that might make uh, life difficult or might make conversations uh, difficult. But uh, when you learn how to adapt to different people and learn how to adapt to different kinds of situations which Eon presents to you, uh, I think uh, that is one thing you can take away from this job. Uh, also, I've learned not to fear change. Uh, coming to a new country, uh, starting a new life here in Japan it can be difficult and can be extremely scary but not fearing change and just uh, 
uh, grabbing life by the horns and just going for it, I think is something I can take away from uh, being here at EO. So after training, the support I received from the trainers did not stop. Um, after you start uh, a couple months into the job, uh, you get to go to follow-up training, for example, and you get to uh, continue your communication with the trainers, uh, whether it is through email or uh, through talking to uh, Japanese staff members who have a lot of experience in teaching. Uh, so they are going to be your key uh, people to look to for support. And at the school, you know, uh, the Japanese staff and teachers are so incredibly helpful and friendly so there was not much for me to worry about in terms of support after training.